that's going to go down in history. You know, there's going to be a day we're going to have 25 Patrick Mahomes in the NFL. And, there, and of course we won't, I should say, in the eyes of the of public, because it'll be perception, how many wins and losses. You know, I, I hate to tell people this, but the quarterback isn't the sole guy that depend, or is dependent on your football team. So it helps a lot, but I've never seen a great quarterback on a bad team. Well, I have. I knew it, but nobody else knew it. Matt Stafford was borderline a great quarterback in Detroit, and they never won a playoff game. But I used to watch him and go, he's unbelievable. And everybody, oh, no, he isn't. He's, he's, he's a stats guy. I'm like, you're right. Well, that's what they say about Brock Purdy right now. He's in the Super Bowl. Doesn't matter who's around him. Oh, wait. No, wait, hold it. Oh. Oh, he brought it back against Green Bay in Detroit. I forgot. So every quarterback can do that every time. That's, I take that for granted. Got me? Yeah, no, okay, good. Good stuff. If you could have been on the call for any Super Bowl in history, which game would you have, would have wanted to call? Oh, my God. Well, you know my favorite Super Bowls growing up were Pittsburgh and Dallas by far. The 35-31 game was awesome in so many ways because the rules were very, very flexible. And the hitting and stuff was great. Oh, okay. But I'm just trying to think of great Super Bowl game. Well, last year's was pretty damn good. I'd like to be on the call of that. Uh, I'd like to be on the call for any of them. I'd love to do the game this weekend because I feel like I know and each team so well. And uh, the only thing is, well, no, I was so. You just do the game. You don't root for anybody to win or lose. That's for sure, but I don't know. You got one that I'm missing? Um, it's not the Jet game. <laughs> not the Jet okay. game. I don't know. The, that was, the, uh, the 28 to 3 game is, uh, was, would have been a pretty good one to call. That was a, uh, it would have been unbelievable. I was in the stands. Only time I've ever sat in the stands for a game because my son was on the practice squad in Atlanta. So I turned to my wife and said, the game is over. They won the Super Bowl. For real. I said it. And she goes, oh, really? That's great. You know, I said, yeah. And then it turned around. Uh, when he, when Matt Ryan completed that pass to Julio Jones, I was sitting in a Atlanta section, and I said, Atlanta's won the Super Bowl. And just, it just shows you it's never over. But that Julio catch is one of the best catches I've ever seen. It was unbelievable, wasn't it? Yeah. I think that's what got me excited. I was like, oh, my God. It's meant to be. So... Uh, you were talking about Matt Stafford earlier. Who's a current player that you think is kind of underappreciated by the general uh, NFL fans? Oh, you got to bring him up. I can't go through the list real quick. Um, I'm trying to think. It's hard. Name me one, I'll tell you yes or no. Uh, you got anybody in mind? What about like Josh Allen? Do you think Josh Allen is underrated at this point? Well, I don't know if he's underrated. He's got a legion of fans that hate him. But well, that's a different story. How do you think they hate him? You know, I, I really don't know. I, I, I'd give you the answer if I knew. But you know, like after they lost to Kansas City, I heard more about Josh Allen the next day than I did about the Chiefs. Did, did he did he let guys run for touchdowns uncovered by the Buffalo defense? Then how did he play in the game? And the guy, and they dropped the balls. He, he was great. Oh, but let's get on Josh Allen because. Oh. They said he only had 100. He managed the game. He was unbelievable. Do we? Let's be honest. Do you think Buffalo's as good as Kansas City? I'm a Buffalo Bills fan. Oh, I'm not. I'm not saying this in a good way, but how people were ripping on the drop. Like he only had 180 yards. Like the drop passes. They got to say something. Of course. If you're a hater, you're a hater. Yeah, and I feel like Josh does have a lot of pain. He does. He does. And you think the Bills are very? When's he going to beat Patrick Mahomes? Well, I'll tell you what. He. He had them beat out in Kansas City in that great game. But the coaches lost that game. I never hear that. You know, you, people don't even realize what it took for Can, uh, for Buffalo to lose that game at the end. But that would, it was, it was terrible. It was terrible, yeah. And that was the coaches, yes, not does. the players. Do you think it's fair how we evaluate quarterbacks? Like everything's about wins and losses. You're in the talking to the wrong guy. Do I think it's fair? No, it's not. But that's the world we live in. 
and you guys helped. Boomer and I talk about it all the time. Boomer will say, so and so is making this money. And seven years ago, Boomer, I don't care. And then it would mean this. And all of a sudden, one day he said something to me. I said, I got to tell you what, it bothers me now. Because <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable. And so, but the media, the everything, not the media, but coaching, the offense is how it's changed. The receiving group has gone off the charts. Tight ends are phenoms now. So it, it's, it's different. But why do we talk just about the quarterback and the coaches? Why? I, I don't know. Because what else do you know? Can you? We're not going. Well, they put. Nobody's going to talk about anything. They're going to. Well, the quarterback catches the ball. Yeah, well, that's right. And they're going to just focus on that. But to me, how much are you taking advantage of every opportunity, and then then some? That's what you want your quarterback to be. 